guys, welcome back to my channel, Laura here. So today I thought it would be fun if we worked on some fundamentals when it comes to dancing in heels. We're gonna do some he uh, walking in heels, head whipping in heels, we'll do some turns, um, like on day or turn. And yeah, we'll just work on some basic fundamentals. That way, if you've never taken a heels class before, um, these fundamentals will help you if you do go into a choreography class. Disclosure, this is not a choreography class. This is going to be a fundamentals. So I do have another video that I have posted on my channel that is an actual combo, if you wanna learn that. Um, and do let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. But let's go ahead and get started with a little warm up. I will leave a timestamp below. Um, if you're already warm and you don't feel like you need to warm up, you can press the timestamp and skip the uh, warm up altogether. But I do definitely recommend working uh, with your muscles a little loose, a little looser, because head whipping can be really, can, it can you know, you don't want to pull anything in your neck. Uh, working in heels, you know, you want your calves to be a little loose. Uh, yeah, so let's get started with the warm up. I'm going to, you don't need your heels to start. So I'm going to pull out my yoga mat. You don't need one, but I like to use it. Okay, so to start the warm up, we're going to do look down, look up, and up, down. Down, up, side to side, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Head over to the right. Alternate. Shoulder rolls. Alternate, reverse, and back, and reverse, elbow, cut, the plie, and back, plie. Good job. Now let's stretch the hamstrings. And forward. Sit back. And forward. Back. And forward. And let's lift that left knee. So come here, come center, come back up, and we'll repeat it on the left. Here we go. Flat back, lean down, grab your left ankle, bend your right knee, and stretch. Bend your right knee, stretch. Bend your right knee, stretch. Bend your right knee, and stretch. Let's so come on over to that little lunge, dropping the right knee. Reach it on back for your ankle or toes. All right, drop it. Hamstring stretch and forward. Hamstring stretch, forward. Hamstring stretch and 
forward. You can step out your feet a little more if it feels better. Really feel that stretch. Should be gentle. Let's do a little back bend here. Elongate from the spine, arching over. You don't want to crunch into your lower spine. Guys, so that'll be good for our warm up. So you can go ahead and put your heels on, and then we will start working on our walking in heels. So let's go. So now that you're in your heels, let's begin our walks. So walking in heels has particular characteristics. So a typical walk to look sexy can always begin with a bevel. You may be saying, well, what is a bevel? So, beveling is when you sit into the opposite hip of the leg that is bent. So it looks like this. You'll want your ankles to kind of just be together. And usually a bevel, the standing leg, the one that's not bent, typically. Sometimes you can have a double plie. But either way, the standing leg, the one that has the one, the standing leg, kind of how it's like it, has pretty much all the weight in it. So your the, the leg that is battling shouldn't really even have any weight. Should just be touching the ankle. So here's this. This is what this is what it should look like. So another thing to think about when you're in heels, 
Fancy. Is it your shoulders? Should be kind of like, you should imagine your shoulder blades coming together. And your, your chest should be very lifted. You don't want to arch too much, you know, but there should be this almost an interior tilt slightly. So let's say you're here. Bring that leg that has no weight on it into the ankle to touch. So your ankles are touching. Ankle to ankle. So you may say, oh, okay, that's pedaling, great. But you want to kind of sit into that left hip if the right leg is bent. And then same if the left leg is bent, you can sit into the right hip. Because otherwise, it's a shape, yes, but it, it doesn't have as much of a um, characteristic about it. So you want to sit deep into that hip, regardless if the, the straight leg, regardless if the standing leg is bent or straight, you can sit into that hip either way. You want to think about your shoulder blades coming together, and there's a lot of engagement in the core. Your core should be very engaged at all times in heels. At all times in, in dance, actually, unless you're doing it properly, you know, you might like loosen up a bit and make some other various forms, but for ballet, oh yeah, in hip hop, you can kind of have like a little bit of loosens, but heels in ballet go hand in hand more than you might think. So a lot of the strengths and uh, skills you have developed or would develop in a ballet class come very much in handy when you're dancing in heels. So if you want to get really good at heels, I would definitely recommend um, learning some fundamentals in ballet just to strengthen all of those muscles that you use while, and concepts that you use while dancing in heels. So like I said, the, the core should be very uh, engaged. There's a lot of things to think about. So your shoulders, think about rolling them back like that. Now this is what it looks like if my core is not engaged. Now here's the engage. Engage, not engage. Engage. I'm sure you can see the difference. Okay, so that's that's what a bevel is. Sitting into that hip. No weight on the bevel foot, and your ankles are touching. Hands are like this. You want to see this kind of like diagonal line, very subtle diagonal line from the the um, side that is sitting. You want to see that shoulder kind of drawing down. You don't have to actively draw down; it just kind of naturally happens when you are doing all of that. So there's that. That's kind of the basics of a bevel. And then let's start with walking. So let's say we start. I'm going to do four walks. I don't want to get out of the frame. So I'll start all the way back here. So let's start with the right leg walking, right foot walking, and with the right foot, uh, leg beveled. So we're here. So you want to think about Stepping out from your toe, not heel. Don't think about your heel coming first. Think about your toe is leading you to the step. So toe first, not heel. A lot of people, pedestrians, you walk heel, heel toe, heel toe. In heels, you want to think about the toe leading you. You want to think about a cross, crossover. And whatever leg is leading you, you want to think about that. Uh, same shoulder pulling back. Think about having one of my teachers, a lot of the stuff that I'm teaching you I've learned from Aisha Francis. I've taken a lot of her classes here in LA. So some of the pointers that I give will have derived from some of the classes that she's taught and the concepts I've learned from her. The way I word it may be a little different, but I've learned a lot from Aisha Francis and some of the stuff that we're we'll on today is derived from 
or it's Jade. So keep that in mind. This is coming from a good source. So uh, if you don't know who Aisha Francis is, I highly recommend you watching her or finding out, doing a little research about her because she's like a queen of heels. <laughs> she's pretty amazing. Uh, so, so we're here in Bevel. Like I said, that opposite shoulder is pulling forward. And the same shoulder as leg that is forward goes back. Imagine having a string coming from your shoulder blade to that other hip. So it's this opposition. It's kind of pulling. So it's like that. And remember, you're very engaged. Everything should be very engaged. And as you point the toe and you press, think about rolling off that back foot. Roll through. Roll through. Roll through. And each time you take a new step, think about coming back to that bevel. Think about both of those ankles touching before you, before you take that step. So as you walk, think about coming to step. And it comes back through. Comes through. And up. And up. So that's really slow. A little faster, it looks like this.
So let's start. Let's start on the ground, okay? So I'm gonna lower my camera, okay? Because I just feel like it would do an injustice if you've never done this to begin standing. This is, after all, a uh, beginner. Okay, so for instance here, this is what it looks like. Try your best not to look like that. If you're ever in a dance class, you want to have those legs um, flat like that. Um, unless you can't do it, that's okay. It takes time <laughs> and uh, flexibility. So let's start with eight head rolls to the right and then eight um, to the left. So the point is to get it all off of your neck and come up with it still off of your neck. So we're gonna go one, two, three, See, I came up and it wasn't in my face. So let's do it again. We'll do, we'll repeat that eight times going to the right, eight times to the left, and then let's do figure eight. If you don't know what a figure eight is, I'll show you right now. So I'm gonna start with going to the left. No, actually I'm gonna start going to the right. There you go. So that is what a figure eight looks like. Um, mind you, I haven't done head whipping in a moment, so mine probably could look a little better. But doing a head whip, it, being able to do a figure eight in heels is pretty important. So, like I said, we're going to do eight to the left, or eight to the right, <laughs> eight to the left, and then eight counts of figure eights. Five, six. Seven, eight. Woo! You will be dizzy. <laughs> I definitely know that. <laughs> okay, so let's come up from this position for a second and give our hips a second. We won't do eight to the uh, right, eight to the left. Let's just do 16 head whips. I know it's a lot. So five, six, seven, eight. Give yourself a second to Good job. Okay, so let's uh, do 
eight more figure eights, and then we'll move on to some turns in heels. So we're going to point. Turn. 
Here's where what's tripping you up. I will break it down just a little here, but I don't want this video to be super deep. Enough. So, as you know, you can start a pirouette in the fourth position here. You can start from the fifth position. You can also start from a second position here. We're starting from a parallel. Um, inverted fourth? I don't know how to describe this. It's kind of a second. I would say it's, it's most similar to a turn from all the sick on. But with a bit like, kind of reminds me of a fourth position. But anyway, so you're here, you're bent into the leg that you're going to turn on. on some turns. I know I said at the beginning of class we were going to work on on de dawn turns, but today we just focused on on de or, so hopefully that's okay with you guys. Um, so we pieced all of that together, and then that little mini combo at the end. I wouldn't even consider it a combo. It was still an exercise, but let me know if you guys have any comments, suggestions. Leave them down in the box below. Again, I'm going to leave timestamps um, that will enable you to skip the um, warm-up and go to each specific 
exercise just to make it easier. If you only want to work on turns, I'll leave a timestamp below, letting you just go straight to that. Uh, if you just want to work on the, the turn on the ground that I did at the very end, I'll leave a timestamp for that, etc. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys want to see anything more in the future, if you want me to work on anything else, if you have suggestions, things I can improve on, also do let me know. Also, I know there wasn't any music for this video. It's unfortunate. I'm still trying to figure out how to add music without being copy copyrighted. Uh, multiple of my videos have been blocked by YouTube because of music, so I don't want that to happen. And I also don't want to add just like random like YouTube music or like Final Cut Pro music because it's usually like audience laughter or like clapping and stuff. There are some songs, but it's like really for, for a heels class, it's, it'll be kind of funny and this video would end up being kind of like a joke. <laughs> Who knows, this video could be a joke to you guys anyways, but I hope not. I do have ex a lot of experience in heels. Um, I am kind of newer to teaching it, so um, bear with me as I become more experienced in giving what I know to you all. So that's why I really would appreciate any comments or suggestions that you have for me to better serve you. Um, so yeah, I love you guys so much. Stay hot, stay sexy, stay healthy, <laughs> stay clean while we're in uh, quarantine forever and ever. <laughs> it's like never ending. But um, also don't forget to stretch, uh, be gentle, uh, wear knee braces if you need it. Uh, heels can be a little intense on your body if you're not taking care of it. So definitely take care of it. You'll see results. Take a ballet class. I have some ballet classes on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna get more as well, but definitely recommend if you wanna be good at heels, <clears throat> take some basic ballet, just so you can really strengthen all the muscles that you do require to stay um, supported in heels. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, thank you.